horse feeds and left The people who visit Chaco Canyon. It was like this big. Oh, really? Can you come look? Yeah, sure. Tend to be the curious type. How old is this? Uh, about a thousand years old. No nope. Wow. Oh, yeah. The park is out of the way, down a dirt road, miles from anywhere. 1,000 years ago, though, Chaco Canyon saw a sort of grand experiment, never seen before and never seen since. For that 300-year time period, it appears the, the whole Puebloan realm was unified and Chaco was the center. Archaeologists believe many of the Pueblos seen around New Mexico today made Chaco headquarters, more or less, and the canyon has the ruins to prove it. People are united, they're contributing their energy, their resources, they're bringing timbers from 40 miles away, they're quarrying the rocks, others are mixing the mortar, gathering the water. Huge great houses hug the canyon walls. And that was one room of, you know, 800 in Pueblo Benito. The architecture is advanced. Walls look like something you might see in a posh ski lodge. More than just decorative, they are strong and let the Chacoans build five stories high, what many think would have resulted in a city like Pueblo, used for living and for important ceremonies. Then, they, everyone, left. A defining part of the experience here at Chaco is the solitude. At some point during your stay, there's a good chance you'll be the only one around. Theories abound as to why Puebloans abandoned the thriving Chaco Center. What is left over, even a thousand years later, provides a unique experience. Here folks really have the ability to, uh, to see Chaco on their own terms. You can walk through it or climb above it. A relative handful of people visit the park each year, which means for now you can go to Chaco and be alone at the center of it all. At Chaco Culture Historical Park, Matt Grubbs, KOAT Action 7 News.